Hey guys, just started putting water back in the tank, showing how this is working. Got a clamp here uh, holding this against the side, and I'm just trying to keep it above the water level, level drip it in. And you know, I, I touch here, fill the water, touch here, fill the water, and it's about the same. Before I turn this on, I put a cap of prime for 50 gallons. This is a 33 total volume. And I do turn my filter off while this is going on. Uh, and two things I've, I've found. One is, especially if you have charcoal, because charcoal pulls chemicals out. Anytime I'm dosing or if I'm doing like a prime, I always shut my filters off because I want the prime to stay in the tank where the tap water is going in. Uh, I actually have a little toothbrush that I keep around for maintenance. This little guy right here is kind of dirty, but I use it to clean the glass so that Big Blue doesn't do a throwdown on me. And um, that's really kind of it. So, uh, things I try to do, I always try to make sure that this is in a container because what I've found is when it's got positive pressure on it, or I should maybe negative, I don't know, when it's got down pressure on it because I shut this off, this will fill up. Some, there's a slight leak. Uh, the seal's really good, so I don't, well, now I, I felt a little, it's like a, there's a tiny drip in there. There's just a tiny little bit of moisture on the bottom of this, which is a sign that I got a slight leak. But it completely goes away once I uh, kick the filter on. And these are nitrogen bubbles here that are coming. Um, and hopefully that will try to get that to go away by dropping down in. But Anyway, all right, I need to get on it here, but uh, just trying to show you guys what I did and the water change. As soon as I kick my canister filter on, this will all clear up. And that's really it. So it works, not losing anybody. Uh, the fish are surviving in spite of me. Uh, I'm sure I'll probably get a lot of dislikes for this. This isn't the best way to do this, but it does work. So anyway, you guys be good. Uh, need to put some water in here pretty soon. You can see got a lot of evaporation. It's been really cold here lately, so the colder it gets, the more the dry heat kicks on and sucks the moisture out of the house and pulls it out of here as well. But anyway, um, I don't see any babies from these guys yet. Fingers crossed that uh, they don't have a, a brood, but we'll see. You guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Later.